worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown All right, we're back with another uh, episode here. Um, I got the subframe in. Sorry, I got rags on there because I literally just got done pulling these off the wire. These are the fork tubes. I got them all powder coated to the uh, black chrome, but the subframe is on. I got the uh, triple clamps on. Um, now that the fork tubes are done, I'll be able to get the forks finished and installed. I just pulled the uh, rear rim out of the powder coat oven and I did a two-tone with the black chrome and black um, this is this baby's still uh, kicking up the heat right now I literally just pulled it out um, I left the light on so you can kind of get a better view of it uh, but it's a uh, a black inner spoke with the uh, uh, outer rim section done in the black chrome um, so I turned fans off so you can hear it but anyways that's the update so now I'll be able to, I got a couple little parts left to do that go on the rim um, as far as like the brake caliper mount so I can get the rim, uh, get the wheel on the actual rim and get that uh, mounted on the frame so I can start getting this thing lower and have the rear rim touching the, or rear tire touching the floor. So anyways, that's the update. Um, I get these forks and uh, I got to uh, paint the lower section of the forks the black so i can get the uh, new seals and everything back in other than that she's coming along we'll do another touch base here uh, uh, as soon as i get some more stuff done that's it see ya hey everybody we're back another day and another update <clears throat> i was able to get the uh, fork tubes assembled i haven't put the oil in them so i've left the caps somewhat loose but those were powder coated with the black chrome as well um just to give a little update this is the triple clamp that come off of the r1 um and the actual stem um is original from the fj but it had to modify it so basically so henceforth why it has this big giant spacer and that's the original fj cap all i had to do was um the actual uh stem was a half a millimeter and diameter at the base to press fit into the lower triple like it would for a stock one so what I did is I welded up the area all the way around the stem and then chucked it up in the lathe and then turned it down so it'd be a press fit into here and then recut the bearing surface um, for the actual uh, lower bearing the bearing size was the correct size but the lower triple is a half a millimeter bigger on the original r1 so henceforth it got welded up and then cut down and it allowed me to use the stock set stock stem in the actual triple with the exception i had to make a standoff spacer and that spacer is stepped so it actually goes inside of this triple or the top triple clamp to not where it wouldn't have a lot of play in it so it's press fit into this and then the stock nut that went right on the top of it so all in all I was able to save and use the original so I'm able to use the original bearings with the original stem so that's that um, I think the the four tubes came out awesome they look really really good uh, matches more thing to the bike um, I got the rear tire um, completed uh, in the earlier clip you show where I just pulled it out of the oven here it is assembled and I have a, a 180 tire on here um, that's all done got the rear brake disc mounted on um, I have the sprocket and the hub assembly is done I have a gold chain so henceforth I powder coated the sprocket gold even though the t-section is going to get chewed off but the remaining portion will stay gold so I have the gold chain I like the coated chains versus the natural because you less likely to get rust on them over time and they can they clean up fairly nice and still look good over time so that's that um, at this point we're still just chugging along I just got my hardware in from McMaster car so I'm gonna go ahead and get the under plate 
mounted in here because I have it powder coated already. So get that mounted. And then I have to work on the front rim. I have a, uh, a 90, 94 uh, Phaser 600 rim that fit in here that had the right disc size and the right offset for these R1 rims. And this is it right here. Um, so I gotta you know, demount the tire, pull these old rotors off, and then sandblast and do the two-tone powder to this rim and then rebuild it with new bearings, etc. I already have all the spacers and everything cut to fit on here, so we're all good. And of course the wheel hugger and stuff's gotta, that'll be painted and everything uh, later on. And then I have an upgraded uh, oil cooler assembly to put on here and that'll come on afterwards so we're wrapping it up and we'll be left to doing just paint work so this is this update and we'll touch base back when i get a little bit farther along um i don't know how much more to, to i want to keep these little video shorts on the episodes for the updates for it so um this will probably be the final one for this and then we'll move to the next episode so catch you on the next one see ya